they desperately want him to return. Nimi Harris OBE reveals there's a very good chance co-star Daniel Craig could be back as James Bond. 48-year-old Craig previously stated that he'd rather slash his wrists than do another Bond film. Spectre and Skyfall have been the highest-grossing Bond movies of all time. It was previously reported that Daniel left MGM bosses panicking after keeping mum on his decision to star in Bond 25. The next installment of the iconic franchise is aiming for a 2018 release. They starred in both Spectre and Skyfall together, and Nimi Harris has revealed that Daniel Craig could return for another Bond movie. Giving an interview after receiving her OBE on Thursday, the 40-year-old actress told Just Jared, I think there's a very good chance that Daniel will come back. I think it's way too early to be thinking about other people at this stage. Giving an interview after receiving her OBE on Thursday, the 40-year-old actress told Just Jared, I think there's a very good chance that Daniel will come back. A 2012 still from Skyfall. She continued, I think the fact that the last two Bonds, Spectre and Skyfall, have been the highest-grossing Bond movies of all time shows that people love him as Bond, and they desperately want him to return. Related Articles they desperately want him to return, Nimi Harris OBE reveals there's a very good chance co-star Daniel Craig could be back as James Bond. 48-year-old Craig previously stated that he'd rather slash his wrists than do another Bond film. Spectre and Skyfall have been the highest-grossing Bond movies of all time. It was previously reported that Daniel left MGM bosses panicking after keeping mum on his decision to star in Bond 25. The next installment of the iconic franchise is aiming for a 2018 release. By Rebecca Davison for Mail Online. Published, 2055 GMT, the 23rd of February 2017, updated, 2148 GMT, the 23rd of February 2017. Email. 9. Shares. 70. View Comments. They starred in both Spectre and Skyfall together, and Nimi Harris has revealed that Daniel Craig could return for another Bond movie. Giving an interview after receiving her OBE on Thursday, the 40-year-old actress told Just Jared, I think there's a very good chance that Daniel will come back. I think it's way too early to be thinking about other people at this stage. Scroll down for video. They desperately want him to return, on Thursday. Spectre and Skyfall star Nemi Harris revealed there's a very good chance co-star Daniel Craig could be return as James Bond. They desperately want him to return, on Thursday, Spectre and Skyfall star Nemi Harris revealed there's a very good chance co-star Daniel Craig could be return as James Bond. Giving an interview after receiving her OBE on Thursday, the 40-year-old actress told Just Jared, I think there's a very good chance that Daniel will come back a 2012 still from Skyfall. Giving an interview after receiving her OBE on Thursday, the 40-year-old actress told Just Jared, I think there's a very good chance that Daniel will come back, a 2012 still from Skyfall. She continued, I think the fact that the last two Bonds, Spectre and Skyfall, have been the highest-grossing Bond movies of all time shows that people love him as Bond and they desperately want him to return. Related Articles Previous 1. Next. Ruth Negger oozes old Hollywood glamour in Fershawland. My goal is to keep him off stage. Jimmy Kimmel vows to make. Lion Pips Oscar's favorite La La Land to win LA Italia. La La Land and Hidden Figures snubbed at Writers Guild. Share this article. Share. And I don't think Daniel is immune to that. I think he's very aware, so I think that adds an extra level of pressure. But he has to ultimately do what feels right to him. But I know that we, as a cast, collectively want him back. I know that Barbara and Michael, our producers, desperately want him back, so I think the only person that needs persuading is Daniel. It was previously reported that Daniel left MGM bosses panicking after keeping mum on his decision to star in Bond 25. The British actor, 48, 
has been off-grid for a year, while film bosses are desperate to sign him up as the famous secret agent. XX have now started planning for the next installment of the successful movie franchise, which is set for release in 2018, without hearing if the British actor will take part. She continued, I think the fact that the last two Bonds, Spectre and Skyfall, have been the highest grossing Bond movies of all time shows that people love him as Bond, and they desperately want him to return, a still from Skyfall. Speaking about the sticky situation, a source told the Daily Mirror, Daniel and MGM are currently at a stalemate with him having not spoken to them about Bond. They have offered a bigger wage deal, and asked about his filming availability to his reps in 2017, but as yet they have not spoken to Daniel. Continuing on about the flicks timeline, the source revealed, they want Bond 25 out in October 2018 but currently they have no Bond, film dates or knowledge of when that will change. But despite so much hanging in the air, Daniel hinted strongly back in October that he may not want to turn his back on 007. Speaking at the New Yorker Festival, he told the audience, I got the best job in the world doing Bond. The things I get to do on a Bond movie and the type of work it is, there's no other job like it. If I were to stop doing it, just say, I'd miss it terribly. It's one of the most thrilling things as an actor you can do. I love this job. I get a massive kick out of it. And, if I can keep getting a kick out of it, I will. Reports initially surfaced that Daniel would be quitting the franchise after he stated that he'd rather slash his wrists than do another Bond film. However, the comments were made at the end of a grueling press tour. Nami was made OBE in London on Thursday, just days before she's due in Hollywood as an Oscars nominee. The 40-year-old, best known for her role as Money Penny in 007, was honored by the Queen at Buckingham Palace for her services to drama. Nami is nominated for an Academy Award for her role in Moonlight this Sunday, but clearly still had Bond on her mind at the ceremony, saying she'd put money on the return of Daniel Craig as James Bond. I'm not going to forget this week, she told Associated Press, collecting the honor in an elegant Mary Catch and Sue dress, ahead of her turn on the red carpet at the Dolby Theatre on Sunday. She is nominated in the Supporting Actress category for her role in Moonlight as Paula, the drug-addicted mother of a young black gay man growing up in Miami. I don't think I have a chance of winning at all, she said, adding that it feels incredible to be nominated. Nimi is up against Viola Davis for Fences, Nicole Kidman for Lion, Octavia Spencer in Hidden Figures and Michelle Williams in Manchester by the Sea. Filled with excitement, Nimi said the experience of collecting her award from the Queen was lovely, and said the monarch asked her what she was working on at the moment. Nimi famously played Money Penny in Skyfall, 2012, and Spectre, 2015 saying that she's expecting to go back to work with Daniel Craig on the next film. I really don't think that they've moved on from Daniel, she said, despite his cynicism about the role and the speculation surrounding a replacement. I think there's a very good chance that Daniel will come back. I think it's way too early to be thinking about other people at this stage. The 40-year-old star added, If I was going to bet, that's the way I would bet. Nimi has previously spoken of her desire to see Craig return as Bond following speculation he may leave the role, and now says that if she was a betting woman she would put her money on him to return. Earlier this week, the week Craig became the second longest serving 007, James Norton and Michael Fassbender were said to be the frontrunners to become the next Bond. Harris said she thinks fans would be very disappointed if Craig did not return to the role, adding, I think the fact that the last two Bonds, Spectre and Skyfall, have been the highest grossing Bond movies of all time shows that people love him as Bond, and they desperately want him to return. And I don't think Daniel is immune to that as well, I think he's very aware of that, so I think that adds an extra level of pressure. But he has to ultimately do what feels right to him. But I know that we, as a cast, collectively want him back.
I know that Barbara and Michael, our producers, desperately want him back, so I think the only person that needs persuading is Daniel. Shortly after the release of Spectre, Craig said he would rather slash my wrists than appear in another film as the Secret Service agent. Budnami said that comment was just a joke and that it can be difficult to translate jokes in print. Nimi has previously said she wants to continue appearing in Bond films for as long as they'll have me, will have me.